something you're worried about moving forward? Like, if you can't deal with that? Nah, I mean, I'll get used to it. You know, this is my first time in an octagon. There were a little bit of jitters. Um, you know, I, everyone responds to it differently. It took me a while to kind of wake up. I was a little tentative out there. You know, we're not a lot. I said my contact fell out in the first round. I didn't have my contacts in at all, so that threw me off a little bit. Not being able to see, I just found out before this fight that you're not allowed to fight with contacts in, so I'm, uh, I didn't wear them for this one. And it threw me off a little bit. How, how bad's your vision that, 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 uh, uh, that it would mess you up? I wear toric lenses, and the, it's minus 275 in both eyes. Oh, wow. I have astigmatism, so it's pretty bad. Did you ever think of getting laser? Yeah, I, I can finally afford it after this fight, so that's when it's going to happen. So when you're in there, when, you, when you're looking at him, how... I mean, is he just all blurry to you? Yeah, uh, he's all blurry. All, all I see is uh, he's got a real big head and a real big gut, so that's what I focused on, and uh, that's all there is to it. You got to get that LASIK, man. It's yeah, like this yeah. is a, a no-brainer for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, that's why it's hard for me to make eye contact sometimes. You know, I was trying to look at the person in the middle. <laughs> So you're out of the first round for the first time in a while. What do you think of your performance overall? Uh, you know, I felt pretty good, honestly. Um, I could have gone into the, the fifth, third round. Uh, obviously, you know, I kind of I had an adrenaline dump a little bit uh, between the second and the third. But I went out there. As soon as I hit him, it went away. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with my performance. Hope the fans are happy with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone else is happy with it. So. Were you surprised you didn't get him over there in that first? Because, I mean, you were real close to yeah, yeah, you know, uh, I was surprised the ref didn't call it, but, you know, it's the big show. There's a lot of money on the line. I, I kind of appreciate it. If I was in Chris LaRoche's position, I wouldn't have wanted him to call it there either. But it is what it is. Uh, I got the finish, and that's what's important. He was pretty clearly wiped out the second. Yeah. I mean, you were looking like you were a little bit, a little gassed, too. I mean, how, how much were you feeling that in the second round? Uh, like I said, it was definitely an adrenaline dump. Uh, this, is my, this is my first UFC fight, you know. Uh, I've wrestled in front of big crowds before. But it's different. You can't really explain it. You can't really describe it. You can't really replicate going out there like that. Contender series felt like I was sparring in the gym. This one felt like the real thing. So it was a little different. How much easier do you think it'll be for you next time going forward? You know, uh, months from now. It'll be much easier. I'm going to train much harder. You know, after each camp, my baseline raises a little bit, and you know, I'm just getting better and better each fight, and that's all I can do. You're going to enjoy the holidays, man. What do you want to get back out there? Uh, man, I love to get out there. Uh, Early March, maybe. Uh, hell, early February, if possible. I'm, uh, I'm happy with my performance. I'll be ready to go again in a couple weeks. Uh, my weight didn't get too bad this time. I was 283 before the fight, about 280 afterwards. So, well, I'll try and maintain it. Obviously, I'm going to party tonight. Uh, that's what you do. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Just keep going. You had a bit of hype you know, behind you going. Like, do you feel that at all? Do you feel that there was a little bit of extra pressure, you know, when people are sending you, man, I wanted to bet on you and you're the minus 450 favorite. You know, that's like, well, damn, I got to perform now. But, uh, you know, this guy's a veteran. He's a big dude. He's known for having a tough chin. So I did what I could. Uh, I went out there. I prepared to the best of my abilities. And I wasn't too overzealous with it, you know. I might not have pushed the pace as much as I wanted to in the first, but we had a game plan. I had to stick to it. And, you know, you hire your coaches for a reason, so you got to listen to them. Uh, you needed a towel to get to 266. I mean, is there was there any thought after that of, all right, for the next one, I'm going to keep an extra three pounds off so I don't have to stress about that on last day, or was that, no, was that I mean, normal? It's normal. I'm always right at the limit for it, okay. you know. Uh, every time I'm right at the limit, as I get stronger, as I put on a little bit more muscle, these cuts are going to get closer and closer and closer. So, you know, I was a little upset, really, because it's the first scale before I could go down there said 266 even. When I got naked, uh, it was 266.2 with the underwear on. I got on that one, it said 267, and I was ready to fight right there because I wasn't cutting any more weight. <laughs> uh, How much yeah. weight do you cut? I walk around, um, by the end of next week, I'll be back at 295. Uh, I got up to 305 after Contender Series. Uh, like I said, man, it's, uh, it's pretty well known. I love to party, I like to have fun. You know, I go out a lot, so Taco Bell is first stop after here. And then uh, I got a I got a whole box like four or five boxes of little Debbie's up in my room right now, so I can't wait. <laughs> is, is the partying something you might have to dial back on a little bit? Definitely, definitely. So last time we partied, I partied for about six weeks after that one. Uh, this time I'll give it two weeks. Um, go from there. You know, I, I had kind of went on a toilet pipe. I had a few ladies in my DMs from across the country uh, after Contender Series. I had more money than I had in a while, so I took some trips. Is what it is. Uh, this time I won't do that. I've got a girlfriend, so uh, no toilet pipe, and I'm just gonna be chilling. <laughs> what do you make of the heavyweight division? 
Uh, you know, I think I showed a lot tonight. Uh, it, was, it was my debut. Everyone has kind of jitters in their first debut. Everyone responds to it differently. So they can all take from it what they will. The result's going to be the same. I'm going to go down as one of the best to ever do this. And I'm the most athletic heavyweight in the division. I've got the most upside of anyone in this division. And I'm just going to continue to work hard and continue to show it. Okay. Right, no problem.